Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the House of Commons. Before we proceed, I'm going to apologize for the long wait. The reason is we've been traveling around the world, uh, working in Nigeria, uh, had to direct uh, a show for Globalcom called Professor John, Professor John Bull. I did 13 episodes of John Bull. By the time we finished that first season, then I got into directing a movie for Senator Ben Bruce called Gone to America with Funke Akinde and the rest. When I finished that project, then I was moved to Canada to direct a movie called Clash for Diamond Pictures. When I finished directing Diamond Pictures uh, movie Clash, they moved me back to Nigeria to direct a talent show called Otoboga Talent, which was a two months wow. process. So by the time I finish it, before you know, two years is gone. And wow. that's why. I, so I did not quit House of Commons. No. A lot of people are going to say, Have you quit? No, I did not quit House of Commons. I don't quit anything I start. Good, good. Right. 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 So, but that's what we have agreed to do. We're going to shoot House of Commons in the US. We're going to shoot House of Commons in Canada. We're going to shoot House of Commons in Nigeria or any part of the world where we are in. We are always going to shoot House of Commons so that you can have something every week. Some LD, Amy, and Co will shoot in the US. Some I'm going to shoot with this new team in Canada. Some I'm going to shoot with another different team in any other part of the world. But guaranteed, House of Commons, you're going to have a show every week. So we sincerely apologize for the, for the break. But now we're back and we're back. We're back. Because this one we're shooting right here in Toronto, Canada. The first House of Commons in Toronto, Canada. In the and States. I am shooting with these <laughs> lovely people starting from my left. Ashley Levin here. So you can see me on social media, Facebook, YouTube channel, Ashley Levin. Ashley with two E, L O V I T. Um, to give you a little background of what I, who I am and what I'm about, um, Canadian born, French Canadian, first language is French, and I, I would say I'm Haitian, of course. <laughs> first people are like, what? I'm Haitian, um, raised in uh, Montreal, Quebec, so that's why people are like, do you have an accent? Maybe a little bit. But on social media, my purpose is really to motivate others about fitness. I'm a big, big foodie, so look out for all my food reviews and about fitness and keep people to be in a good health and spirit. So that's why I'm pretty much all about a healthcare provider too. Okay, go ahead. And I am Valentine um, Yomi. I go by the name VDD, um, healthcare uh, um, pro provider by, by profession. Yeah. Um, born and raised in Nigeria, I'm a Nigerian. Pure, full blown, full blown Nigerian. Um, but, Nigerian. But now I live in Canada, um, you know, the six, Toronto to be exact. And I just do entertainment. Um, I love music, um, DJ, so you know, part time as well. Um, so, I mean, I'm here at House of Commons to, to have fun and just, that's right. you know, just, just groove, man. That's it. That's right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ola George here on the House of Commons Canada. So my name is Ola George, as I said already, born and raised here in Canada, Edmonton, Alberta, to be specific, <laughs> and Trinidadian parents. And um, I've been in Toronto since I was Trinidad? Trinidad, yeah. Oh, okay. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad! I don't want to forget Tobago. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. CNC. CNC, see it right. right. Say it right. I know, I know. I gotta say it right. Trinidad and Tobago, TNT. <laughs> Where Which is, is like my second home because I, okay. I go there like every every year, every, every year, too. every carnival, every yeah. summer for my entire life, you know. So it's Trinity City Home. I'm also behind that as well. I have media background here in Toronto, media with film and television, TV channel as well as Diamond Pictures. We just shot our first feature film, Clash. Look out for that. Right. And uh, we're here in House of Commons, Canada. And I actually had the pleasure to, to shoot the House of Commons as well in yeah. LA. Yeah. So yeah. 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 that's what we can do it here. Yeah. 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 All right. House, House of Commons. Commons. <laughs> Yeah, this tea is really cold. <laughs> <laughs> tea is good. I'm going to spill some tea now. I'm going to have a bouncy and I'm going to have a bouncy. Mid-stop. Yeah, that's my hat. Yeah, so I'm going to have a part of commons. Hot uh, topic. My team players in the US, uh, teammates, uh, the crew, uh, Audi, Amy, and the rest of them. We sincerely apologize for the break again. But today we're back. 
and we're back for real. And you all know how we keep it. We keep it real. Our topic today is shit hole. Shit hole. <laughs> shit hole. Donald Trump's shit hole. Unquote. He says. <laughs> we should not let people from this. We should stop letting people from this shit hole countries come into America. Hmm. That is it. Shit hole. They stop letting a president of a nation. Shit. So let's go straight. I'm going to go straight. I'm going to start with you, Va. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Because yeah. yeah. I said man's so hot, right? <laughs> He's like, well. Uh, so well, uh, what do you think about the shit hole comment by President Donald Trump? Um Honestly, I mean I'm not surprised that Donald Trump would say something like that. Because um from I don't think anyone is surprised. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm not, I don't feel hurt. I don't feel um, a kind of way. But I'm just, I just think that Donald Trump is wrong for making such comments. Because I know that this is the kind of person that Donald Trump is. This is what he's been, if you look at his history, from time, he's never said anything correct. Mm. Right? So... And he's very controversial, and that's how he makes his bread. Um, but um, for me and my family back in, in Nigeria, um, all I see is a beautiful place. And if you call us shit all countries, we're going to use that as motivation to show, to, 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 to correct or, or move ourselves forward as a nation, as a people. You understand? But Donald Trump is wrong. And he's always gonna be wrong about other people. He's never been to Nigeria. I don't know how how fast he's traveled, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not even sure if he travels or he just stays in the White House. <laughs> but, <laughs> he barely but, does. <laughs> but um, um, well, but we are not shit holes, uh, Mr. Mr. Pascal. Okay. Um, you know, All right. Thank holes. you very much. That's your take on it. So what's your take on uh, Donald Trump calling Haiti and the uh, African countries shit holes? Wow, I got bombarded with different videos and clip of reaction of people, but as a Haitian myself, mm -hmm. I have to say that a lot of the contribution that was to the country of America was made by other Haitians. When Haitians usually leave their home country to go to another country, wherever it is, they come to work, to get educated, to move the nation forward, and to actually make themselves better but the country where they are better and it's unfortunate that donald trump himself who's probably not educated at, 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 about other cultures and other country and has such a strong opinion that's erroneous because it's not it has no basis and he's not even looking at his own history of his own country itself before making those statements one thing i wanted to mention that that really impressed me is like anderson cooper because this year i think it was the 10th year anniversary, like there was the earthquake that happened to Haiti? Eight years? Eight years. Eight, year, yeah, eight, eight years. years. Yeah, eight years. And he was saying he'd been himself there when it was the earthquake. And he'd been to Haiti many times. And he said, the people of Haiti are strong. So they come with a strong mind. They're willing to work. They don't come to sit and take their American money. They come to actually work. And that's something that you have to think about. What is the mentality of those countries when they come into the, uh, to America? And this is what Donald Trump failed to actually look into, is to see what are those people contributing? Are they contributing? Yes, they are. So before making such a statement, unfortunately, probably the team that worked with him, either they do support, other people do support that, they just never probably voiced it, but he voiced it for a lot of people. But yep. one thing I would say, I'm happy to say that a lot of people now are trying to educate themselves about the history of Haiti and the history of Africa. Correct. So, yeah. Yes, so, get to know, people. So, get to know. So you said what, we're, we're looking for a positive stuff. That's right. Okay, Miss All, I want you to think about Donald Trump, President of America, calling Haiti and the rest of the war, uh, African countries shithole. Well, shithole? It's a huge statement, shithole. Just putting those words together, it, it leads you to think of so many different awful things. The biggest thing about it is, are we surprised that he did say something like this? This specific topic, yeah, a little bit, but not really. This is his personality. He just goes up in front of the camera. I'm sure his team behind the scenes is telling him, stay away from this, say that. And he just goes up there and just vomits and says whatever, whatever he feels. No filter. And, and, and the biggest thing is this, is it that 
other politicians don't have opinions and other people don't, of course they do, but they that's their private thoughts behind the camera. It's not that it's okay, mm -hmm. but and usually they are polished in front of the camera. He lacks the polish. He has no polish, he has no filter. So therefore the thing that other people are probably thinking, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, within his circle, because usually, show me who your friends are, show me your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's accurate. It's accurate. It is accurate. So you tell me the mindset of the people that are around him. So the, the thing about his art, is this going to get better? That's the question. Can this get better? And it's looking like it's going to get worse based on his person. It's just literally what else is he going to say? What else is he going to do? You know, we all, you know, our personalities, is, we're taught from very young, think, hope for the positive. Think about everybody in the positive manner, which we do. We should. Yeah. I still encourage people to do that. But in regards to Donald Trump um, getting, um, you know, a little more power, a little bit, or, or changing his mind, I don't think anybody's changing his mind. The only thing that can happen from something like this is that he himself just gets a little more polished for the camera. That's the only divide I think that will happen. Uh, are the, you know, are these countries a shithole? Absolutely not. So I got the privilege of traveling to, to, to the African continent, specifically Nigeria, and I ha it was an amazing trip. You know, there were so many different angles and options. I saw the, the qualifying match for the World Cup wow. down there with the African Film Festival. I feel like Lagos reminded me of the hustle and bustle of like New York. Mm -hmm. I felt like Abuja reminded me a little bit of uh, Toronto, like the, the manicured lawns mm -hmm. and just, you know, of course there's situations that are going on within the country, but every country has a situation going on within it. But my overall experience was amazing. So I hate, Haiti, I have not had the chance to go there, but of course my sister has already represented to talk about the positive things about Haiti. Yeah. But but to me, Donald Trump, are we surprised? No, no. but at the same time, we hope for the, to get for it to get a little bit better. Yeah. Maybe in Pete's <laughs> 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 That's, <good. laughs> okay. That's okay. another okay. tea. <laughs> my, my take on it is this way. Maybe. Number one, I think America made a mistake by picking Donald Trump as the mm. president. Oh, definitely. That one is definitely the truth from my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I know that every month, at least most Americans think I want to say what I just say. I don't think Donald Trump is mentally balanced enough to be the president of any nation. That's my opinion. I don't think he's mentally balanced enough. I don't think he's educated enough. Because education is not only to have a degree. Mm -hmm. Education is to travel and read the history of other nations, read and read and read and know a lot of stuff that he doesn't know. Because if you ask Donald Trump now, the capital of Kenya, he won't know. No. He had he made a if, statement if, about if, another country. No, he no, didn't no, know so the capital. Yeah. If you ask Donald Trump now, the, no. cap the capital of the capital of, uh, of, of, of Morocco, of Morocco, yeah. he might not know. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't. Even, he might not even know the meaning of shithole. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what I'm You're saying? Right? I do feel he so, does. <laughs> I, he might not even know the meaning of Shito. Yeah. But if you know, as a president, if he really knows the meaning of Shito, you will not call Haiti mm -hmm. and African countries Shito. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But that said, now let's turn the mirror the other way. Mm -hmm. yeah. What gave him the impetus? What gave him the guts, the mm -hmm. rights mm -hmm. to even open up his mouth and say that? Mm -hmm. We gave it to him. Mm -hmm. The African leaders gave it to him. Because if the African leaders are doing what they're supposed to do, so the Africa can grow and be where it's supposed to be, judging by the natural resources and the blessings that God, the way God blessed Africa, someone like Donald Trump, who has shit hold five minutes from a project, like you know, five minutes from his five minutes from his uh, office in Washington, five minutes from White House in Washington, you will see a very bad project, and you will see many many homeless people yeah, yeah. then if you drive down the highway and move into because the boundary between washington dc and maryland mm -hmm. washington and uh, dc and maryland yeah. is not that far mm -hmm. if you drive maybe 30 minutes drive on that freeway i forgot the name of the freeway mm -hmm. you will see a place called pennsylvania avenue mm -hmm. in baltimore if you see mm -hmm. pennsylvania avenue in baltimore and you don't call it shit hole then I don't know why you should call Africa shit hole. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. then let's right. let's forget about Pennsylvania Avenue, mm -hmm. Baltimore. Let's go to downtown Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. yes. If you go to downtown Los Angeles, yeah. you see 
homeless people yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Wherever they are, that there, that we should call shit hole. Yeah, by Hollywood, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tens of homeless. Tens. Tens. So that's shit So we we don't need to focus on Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to focus on how can we turn this shit statement to a positive direction. Very true. Mm -hmm. Can we use this shit as a mirror and say, why we need to do something in the next four or five years, in the next mm -hmm. eight years, no human being on earth will have the guts mm -hmm. to call Africa and Haiti shit yeah. That's my take on it. Yeah. But do I like mm -hmm. Donald Trump? I don't like him. I will never like him. Not the human being, because God says mm -hmm. don't hate any human being. No, 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 but no. his mentality, his views, and his state of mind, yeah. zero over hundred like for me. Zero over hundred. And the office so is that's funny. my take. But if you guys want to go more on it, then you can go more on it. You know what, Mr. Pascal, mm -hmm. you you made some some valid points, which I think, um, which some of the points I agree with you. Um, <clears throat> I'm not trying to defend the person Donald Trump, mm -hmm. but um, he's the only president in America that can say things the way it is. He can see things and just call it the way it is. So you saying so, that him calling Africa no. she told is the way it is? I'm not. Uh, that's not. That's, that's not my point. Wait, that's wait, not, wait, 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 wait. No, no. That's not where I'm going. That's not where I'm going. But okay, okay, okay. But you know, I'm not in support of what he said. But what he saw mm. that made him say that. What he saw. What the. The, the perception that he's received, right? That's his personality. That's what, according to you, our leaders, they gave him that reason yeah. to call us shithole, right? That's what he saw, and he said, okay, Africa's a shithole. But now, I'm going to say, we don't have to give him something to call us shithole, you know, because we have other... Um, 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 Caucasian nations that are doing very poorly or even as like, very worse bad, than worse than African yeah. nations. Yeah. But Donald Trump not will him. never go. Was not going to call him shit. Hey, you know why? Mm -hmm. Well, tell me why. Donald Trump is a racist. Yeah. Yeah. This level of it. Yeah. He doesn't like black people. Yeah. He doesn't like clear. Latin, Asian, nobody, nobody. Donald Trump is one of those people why Martin Luther King made that statement that he wants to see an America where his children they are being judged by the content of their character not the color of their skin but Donald Trump is one of these I will hope I will not use what I want to use now but I don't mm -hmm. think that's good use your use your use your house of commons man you don't hold the wrong right it's one of those mofos yeah. right? <laughs> That if you're not white like them, yeah. if you don't have that skin color, you don't mean shit in their face. He wants immigrants from Sweden. Right? No, he wants immigrants no from Norway. From Norway. Okay. No what way. I tell you? So. What I tell you? He only wants one that looks like him. Mm -hmm. But he's forgetting something. America doesn't belong to him. He's an immigrant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It belongs to the natives. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was born in America, but he had his father get over. Exactly. Have yeah. you done the research of Donald Trump's father? Mm -hmm. so his father's character is that of a shithole mm -hmm. human being too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so he, we need to honestly, honestly, don't worry about him. Don't think about him. Come back home and say, what can we do to make sure that 73 people are not killed in our nation without mm -hmm. judgment? What can we do to make sure that there's constant power supply? There's, we have good roads. Though there's, we, how do we eradicate malaria and all those kind of mm -hmm. stuff? Maybe when we do that, someone like Donald Trump will not have the power to cover shit all. Right. Do you understand? That's yeah. how the, you talk I'm, about the yeah. age of the leaders you were yeah, saying. Yeah, yes, I'm not being to hate him. So mm -hmm. I can't really talk much about yeah. Haiti, right. you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I don't know what he saw over there. So Pastor, yeah. but yeah. how can you overcome certain things where you have been conditioned or you have been placed that uh, where you cannot, even for you to overcome that thing, the, 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 the whole uh, um, system against you. The things, the, the, the obstacles you have to climb is is really huge. No, the greatest How obstacle. You? Okay, okay, you want to come in? Okay, so, so overcome yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 
the greatest obstacle that blacks all over the world need to overcome mm. is colonial mentality. That's yeah. correct. Right. Exactly. And that's what and I want to see, touch on. See, because yeah. you see, if, when, if who can use a toothbrush or whatever soap and wash off that colonial mentality from our brains, we can move further because the colonial mentality is soft, is almost like mental imprisonment. Correct. Okay. I agree. So yes. in regards to this, the colonialism, just coming back to that, the same shithole that they're con referring to the African continent mm -hmm. and places like Haiti, mm -hmm. things like that, it was not a shithole when it was the Berlin Conference, when all of the people of the Dutch, the, the British, and everybody came together and decided, let's divide up Africa, mm -hmm. and all that went in mm -hmm. yeah. to go divide up Africa for themselves, the colonialism that we're just discussing here. What actually, so you tell me, you go into a country, you go, you take their history from them, you tell them that what they believe, uh, they're, they're, they're worshipping devils and, and the medicine they're doing, and they, they, they know things about astrology, and they may, be, they're, they're, they may not be educated book-wise to what they were seeing, but at the same time, there was amazing universities in Timbuktu and all these places in, in Ghana, and all these places that a lot of people from around the world would come and learn, yeah. but when they came in, they destroyed, they came and they took, they destroyed, took power, then taught, took away their belief system, took away their language, okay. and once you take away people's language, you take away their belief system, then they start to teach them their belief system. So all of a sudden you now have a lopsided person. Now you leave. Your colonialism, you're, you're, you've, you've taken, you know, everybody I think it's about 50 years, 60 mm -hmm. years, a lot of countries, even in the West Indies, Trinidad specifically, Jamaica, yeah, so many Barbados, islands, everywhere. everywhere yeah. Including all mm -hmm. of the continents specifically other than uh, Ethiopia, because the Italians went in for a short period of time, but everybody else. So now, when you come away from that, the colonial, the, the mentality is still there. Because people, you'll observe something. One of the biggest things that we're talking about here is in regards to the complexion. So, for example, the people sometimes that are in certain powerful positions, especially, you could see it in the West Indies a lot, it, it's still that colorism is happening. Yes, it does happen. Like, it's it does like dark. And that's it's not everywhere. that it wasn't there. It's You're not that it wasn't there before. Yeah. But what happened is, when it came, it was magnified. Because if you tell me that my God looks like you, yeah. and then I, and then, but, but my husband and my father looks like the devil and, and looks like the, the, the darkest the element, yeah. then of course, subliminally, you're teaching me something. So what happens is this. Now, the reason he feels he can call Africa the shithole and is because they came in and they and they took, they raped, they pillaged. Yeah. Right now, yes, we're rebuilding. We're rebuilding yes. the Soviet yeah. Haiti, for, who for example. Yeah. Who do I blame? It's, it's multiple things. When they originally came in, they mm -hmm. came in with guns and all mm -hmm. these technologies. Mm -hmm. Some of them, yes, in, in some of the countries, did have certain guns and weapons and, mm -hmm. and they were able to push them back for a time but when they kept coming and coming and of course we're, we're by nature our personalities we love to think the positive the, the best about people yes. so when they came in originally we thought hey you know what let's do trade That's let's right. do trade i didn't tell you to take my house from me you know what <laughs> i mean i didn't tell you to take my children no you know what I mean? it's a whole other topic so what we're actually doing is the ramifications that we're still up to the present day it doesn't matter if you were unfortunately your family was taken on a boat to the, through the Atlantic to the Caribbean mm -hmm. or to the Americas or if your family remains in the African continent everybody was still affected by yeah. what they did okay, and we see, have to address all, that all as all well all you, you, all all you cannot let anyone do something to you that you do not want so my question is this how did we let them come in, destroy our culture, and buy into their culture to the point you, of colonial destruction? Because you know what, you know what it is? You know what it is? You know what it is? But I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Oh my dear! If it's possible. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. So one of the things that I think that is one of the simplest things that we can do today, right now, is with our children, nieces, nephews, ourselves, read, learn about the culture, learn about history, learn about things that, for example, we're talking about that he doesn't know because he didn't travel there, or he doesn't know because he, he's misinformed. Yeah. So many times I kind of see, um, you're, you're looking at things regarding Af the continent of Africa, and all I see is animals. I see, see elephants, I see the <laughs> and There's just so much, that the people and, and, and the technology and, and then the things that are there that are not spoken about. And why is that? Because I don't think the, me the media is showing it. So what I think we could individually do, learn for ourselves so that when we say, oh, he's talking about a shithole, that we actually know it's not a show because we know the information, but also to shoot, shoot this up. This thing we're on YouTube, you, films, yeah. um, show the things that you actually want your children and your next generation to see. 
You know, the information of some of the things that we we're touching on a little bit earlier regarding the Berlin Conference and a few other things regarding what actually happened in history to understand the, the mindsets of why we are dealing with what we're dealing with now is learning. So I think besides what you were saying earlier mm -hmm. with the leaders mm -hmm. and regarding the leaders setting precedents and things like that, I think that's the end all goal. The problem is that we the don't day is, the, is, is us. Yes. Like we need to do something. Oh, so I yeah. need to do something. You need to do something more to push it forward, to push the, the agenda, our agenda forward here in Canada, in the US, wherever we are in South Africa, push your agenda forward that the world will see what we see. The yeah. lens that I see the world yeah. from is a different lens. That's right. That's right. right. That's sure. Go ahead. Go ahead um, um, mm -hmm. For me, I just um, I just got back from Nigeria, like you know, mm -hmm. and I went to visit uh, uh, the great Fela and Nicola Pukuti. I went to his museum, mm -hmm. and there's something the shrine, right? the No, not the shrine, the museum. Mm -hmm. He has a wow. museum built. Okay. For him, and something uh, uh, really struck me, caught my attention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, it, but not directly. But he was, he, what, what was there was that if you wanna control the people, you take away their history. Mm -hmm. So, um, just to piggyback what you're saying earlier, we need to go back to our history as Africans and figure out where did we go wrong and how we can fix it and to me the number one thing we can do is change our concept our mindset our mentality we don't need to depend on no western nation to help us we can build ourselves we can build ourselves as a nation we can support black businesses, support yes. African businesses, yes. buy black yes. businesses, use black currencies, yes. use everything black, black, then let's see who's going to call us shitholes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's interesting. I was actually going to say that. Um, I'm a traveler, so I've been to many countries, and I've been to Asia. And the interesting thing is, is that, and I even if you look at reports or even research, 97% of the store, like for hair, which is a big, huge, billion dollar industry, are owned by Koreans. 97%. Why are we not owning those stores? We are the main customers for those stores. So a lot of things that we are actually the customers. So a lot of those uh, labels, a lot of those labels, like uh, shoes, everything, clothes, we are the main customers, but we don't own them. Why are we not owning them? Mm -hmm. And then when one of us is owning it, we're not supporting. We're going to, hey, can you give me a discount? Mm -hmm. Can you, like, it's like almost like we're bringing each other down. And unfortunately, this, the motto of Haiti, for people that don't know, they say, l'union fait la force. So with, you, if you get un, unified together, you're strong together. True. So, and that's the only way it's going to work. And we need to keep that in mind. And as well, sometimes... We come to your country, we're not teaching your own kids. Some of my own relatives don't even know how to speak Creole. And I'm like, why? Chinese, uh, Spanish people, when they come to anywhere, they teach their own language, their own children. They're proud. They don't feel ashamed of it. And this is where we have to take it back. Like, we have the resource. We should be proud of it, too. Even the names. Even the names. The, our, name of, our names are Western names. Yeah, we yeah. have to change. <laughs> we the name well, the funny thing is, Well, the funny thing is, I all like fact. My parents in the 70s, you know, 70s coming into the 80s. <laughs> and, you know, there was a, a big movement regarding just knowing your history, knowing your yes. And half of the things that I know is what my father and my mother taught me before I even started Amazing. school. I learned African history, world history regarding kings and queens and all the history. I, I've, I've just added to it yeah. way before I even started school That's here. Beautiful. So I, I, to me, the just going right back to the fundamentals, you are what you, what you actually know. So the more you empower yourself, when you walk into any room, it doesn't matter if, if any Donald Trump is sitting there talking about Chihil, you'll just say, I don't know what you're talking about because I know yeah. the truth about that topic. Exactly. But if you don't know, then you yourself are staying in ignorance. So yeah. the key is empowering ourselves, empowering those around us, and of course, empowering the world. And okay. change that picture All that right. we're I'm going to take on it positively. Yeah. So I'm, well, number one, I need to remind Donald Trump that the president he took over from is from Chihil country called Kenya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to let him remember that. So, if he says Africa is a shit that means a shit person has 
to run been, America been his president been before. The yeah. shit person handed over mm -hmm. the key to him to the White House. The that bed is sleeping in, or even they changed in that room. Mm -hmm. A shit person slept, slept in that bed. <laughs> 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 so, it's true. So I need to let him understand. I need to understand that, and then to the African leaders, we need to come back home and rethink. Mm -hmm. There's no reason whatsoever. A 70 year old man, 75, 80 year old man should still be a president in Africa, mm -hmm. in any nation in Africa. Mm -hmm. Because, number one, the time is gone for you to be because your mental ability, your mental capability, your exposure, what your, your level of education that you had before, mm -hmm. you know, it's not what is running today. Yeah, yeah. Today we have technology. What do you know about technology? What do you know about stock market? Yep. What do you know about mining? What do you know about automobile? What do you? What, how current are you to lead the current world? So I think the African leaders, African nations need to go. I was so happy when someone like George Ware became the president. Like George Ware of Liberia. Well traveled. Been doing, doing humanitarian job for a long time. Young man that can attract other young men and women from different nations. To sit with him in a, on a table, mm -hmm. have some champagne, mm -hmm. uh, send a text message. I don't even know if the president of our country knows how to send a text message. Talk less of, <laughs> talk less of calling someone on WhatsApp. Do you do you know what I'm saying? I'm being real. Yeah, you're being honest. You're being real talk. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if he knows how to test yeah. what's up. He, I don't know if I know what it's all about. He probably, he probably does. does. But, 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 but the thing is, and the little children right now, yeah. one year old and two year old, all day long, that's all they're on the iPad. My, my, nephew, on my nephew is what? only seven years old in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. My nephew is uncle. I need that's to buy my pass. I need to build my own laptop. That's yeah. Right. And I asked him, I said, how do you know the pass? He sent me email. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. That is Yes, yes. Yeah. So he's only seven years old. Uh, okay, I, now, if if you are eighty years old and you are still the president, something is wrong. Look at the president of France. How old is he? That's what we need. The now. Canadian prime minister. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for us to, <laughs> so, yeah. for us to <laughs> stop any other human being in the next four years or eight years to call Africa shit hole. Especially, I'm, I don't let's, let's, I'm, I don't yeah. talk much about Haiti because I don't know much yeah. about Haiti. Mm -hmm. But Africa, I know. Mm -hmm. For us to do that, I think we should start from leadership. Mm -hmm. The leadership should change now from the old men mm -hmm. who are close to their grave to young men who are coming in to their uh, what do they call it? And women. Uh, and women. Yeah. We're, we're out here. here. We're, we're out here. But but power should exchange hands. Yeah. It is time yeah. for the old men to retire. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why when you go to look for a job, they ask you how mm -hmm. old are you? Hey. They say this job is reserved for people from this age yeah. down. Yeah. Because they know that no matter how good you look outside. Inside, it's inside, inside is going. Yeah, it's so, so what I'm gonna say is this: Donald Trump, Africa is not shit hole. Haiti is not shit hole. If you wanna see shit hole, drive five minutes from White House, drive down the street, you will see shit hole projects that you can <laughs> Then if you wanna see more shit hole, you drive know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes to Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Avenue, Baltimore, mm -hmm. you see more shit hole. Yeah. You created it. Your people created it. Not so hope. stop calling any for it. Go to East Cleveland. <laughs> Shit hole. Can you even define shit hole? Shit hole.